we want to do it in a way that we can scale. Like we want to do it where we just hit one button and boom, it's taken care of, right? That's what a weekly email is. Every Wednesday I sit down for 30 minutes and I make an email that is a massive value add for my customers. You guys can go to my Facebook business page and see every email that I've ever, I started posting on there maybe a couple years ago where you know, you can go there and look at my emails. You can just click on the link and it pops up and you can see what I send my clients. But you need, need to put the infrastructure in place to start sending those 4,000 people plus everybody you've ever talked to this weekly email because you're not going to be able, you can't scale a business through calls and text messages and lunches and stuff like that. I like to just focus on calls in the morning, getting those calls in, keeping the business going, keeping the momentum going following up, making new calls, stuff like that. And then the afternoon is just whatever appointments or you know, working on my coaching business or whatever I'm doing then, just kind of finish out the day strong. So about three or four o'clock, it's really good to sit down and look at, your, look at your notebook or wherever you keep your notes on what you got going on. It's good about three or four o'clock to look at that and make sure you're not missing one or two things that are really important that have to get done by the end of the day. And that way at five o'clock, you know you got everything done. You're never gonna to get to the end of your list. So of course, a lot of that list is gonna get moved and transferred over to the next day, but at least you got that email out you said you were gonna get out by the end of the day or made that phone call that you were supposed to get back with somebody by the end of the day. And you can go home and not worry about, did I forget something? Okay, in 2021, as tight as the market is, any other market's gonna be a cakewalk to you. Okay, when the market swings and inventory comes up, demand goes down, prices level out or come down a little bit, think about how easy it would be if there were less demand, less buyers per listings, more listings to choose from, a little bit better price. Think about how easy it would be. So if, if, you, if you really lean into this market and go all in with, okay, how many people can I talk to and build relationships with and do as many deals and help as many people as I can, it's gonna be tough, I get it, but, but how many relationships and deals can I put together this year, right, and just survive and come out the other side of 2021 with a bigger database, much thicker skin, right? We made it through one of the toughest markets Ricky's ever seen. Right? Um, I think that's what we need to focus on. They need to take a mental snapshot of that conversation and how, how the person on the other end of the phone, what their tone is, what your tone is, the fact that they're comfortable with you, you're comfortable with them, because our number one job is to help people feel comfortable with us. Okay, and the only way to do that is to be comfortable with them. So who better to model that scenario um, in uh, outside of talking to someone that you're very, very close to? And if you may take a mental snapshot and start trying to emulate that same feeling with your prospects and you give the vibe that you're treating them like you would your mom, dad, brother, or cousin, they feel that same love and energy, then they're gonna give it right back to you.